Hi Ari, it's Travis here and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we brought some oil to Captain Grayson so he could light the Westfall Lighthouse. And today, we are going to be heading over to Red Ridge Mountains. And that is going to be the next zone that we will be questing in. So we're going to make a journey over there. Hopefully we do not run into anyone that is kiting an elite dragon or something like that. I think that's the only way we can die on this journey. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. But you never know what can happen. We also hit level 20 last episode. Cleared up our bags somewhat. And we are now on our journey to hit level 30. I hope we can do it. We're also going to be turning in a quest today that we picked up. I believe it's called Red Ridge Rendezvous. Venture forth to Lakeshire in the Red Ridge Mountains and speak with Lucius. Sending you out in the field now would be suicide. Renzik doesn't need another dead rogue on his hands. Don't fret though, 007. Renzik is going to get you up to speed. Make your way to the Red Ridge Mountains and speak with an associate of SI7 named Lucius. You will find him hanging around the docks of Lakeshire with the other shady looking good for nothings. Alright. Let's check that out. We got a level 1 dwarf priest just hanging out here. That rabbit. Probably use a uh, sprint. Why not? Speed it up a little bit. Here we are at Goldshire. I don't think we've been to Goldshire yet. Yeah, that's true. We haven't. I don't think we really need anything from there. Check out the inn, I guess. See what's going on. Looks like we have two people dueling over there. See if there's anything weird going on in the basement. Couple of a uh, couple of warlocks down there. Let's see what's going on upstairs. Not much. Everyone's just chilling, but there is a road trainer here, so that is good. So we have ambush rank one, rupture rank one. I think we might take that. Faint backstab, backstab. I think it's daggers only. Would be good for us to get stealth rank too. That's big. Happy we got that. Should we get backstab rank three? Like we're, I'm trying to get swords, so expose armor rank one. Ambush, ambush could be good. Rup, rup, I think ambush is daggers only too. Rupture would be good though. I think we'll take rupture. Farewell. All right, so there we go. We got rupture. And our stealth has improved to rank 2. Oh yeah, there was a quest. Should have picked that up. What can I do for you? The badge? Oh, it's nothing. Fish, nothing. You can handle anyhow. By the looks of it, you, I'd say Matthias, is likely to mistake you for the cheesy delivery boy instead of a proper rogue, regardless. I've been assigned a job, and I've made a promise to deliver on that job. Speaking of which, deliver this package to Matthias. He may have, he may give you a small task or two. Get cracking. All right, so it looks like Be we're going to have to go deliver something to Matthias. Maybe we'll do that later. Because we could hearth back. We have our hearth there. So what I could do is go to, go to Red Ridge Mountain. We'll get the flight point. And then I could hearth back and deliver this to Matthias. We'll do a couple of quests. Most of the quests we're doing today are for the SI7. Interested to see what those are like. I never leveled a rogue in Classic. Or TBC, so... 
I'm interested to see how that is. I did start Rogue and, um... Uh, well, I played Undead Rogue in Wrath. It's the first character I ever leveled. And it, it's probably much different than the Alliance side. Never really got into the SI7 stuff. I think that works out well with the name 007. There's another 33 human warlock over there. Should have sprint up soon. It's going to be a decent journey over to uh, Red Ridge Mountain. It's going to take us some time. But at least we have sprint. If we were a paladin, we would just be running like this until we got our mount. One of the good things about being a paladin, though, is that you I think your mount's free. You're level 41. Pretty sure. I think warlocks get a free mount, too. I really am looking forward to WOTLK, well, Wrath of Lich King. There is going to be a much different raid atmosphere in that expansion. Notice playing TBC and raiding in TBC that there, that composition is such a big deal. And that you need, like, five shamans and, like, all these buffs to stack. And the cool thing... And the cool thing about um, Wrath of the Lich King is that you get a lot of the buffs raid-wide, so you don't need to, like, stack groups. I think that's the problem with TBC raiding. Like, you need a Shaman in every group to get the, the totem buffs, like Wind Fury and, and Heroism and all that stuff. Lust. The cool thing is, you don't need that in Rise of the Lich King. You just need one person with it. So it, it allows for different raid comps to be created throughout the expansion. Whereas, like, TBC has, like, a standard raid comp. And people usually just stick with it. Like, in TBC, you don't even really need a rogue. Like, they do bring uh, an exposed armor debuff to the boss, which is nice. And they also bring another form of utility with, like, stuns and CC. But you really don't need them. They don't bring, like, any buffs to the raid. And really all you need is, like, warriors, shamans, druids. And then mages, warlocks. And then a priest and a boomkin. <laughs> That's it. Hunters, obviously, too. Hunters that do, like, top-end damage, so you need them. Yeah, rogues uh, kind of got the short end of the stick in TBC. I think when glaives start coming out, though, I think rogues will be a little bit better. Like, a, a, a rogue with glaives should clearly do a decent amount of damage to uh, warrant themselves being in a, a raid group. And the funny thing is, is when you uh, use play these like meta cops, there is uh, it just makes the content much easier. Kind of reminds me of world buffs in Classic WoW. Like raiders back in Classic, they used to grab all these world buffs from around the world, and then bosses would just you know roll over in a minute. That is kind of what. Um, TBC has. And TBC has those buffs too. There's actually an engineering buff you can get from uh, this robotic chicken. I'm an engineer on my rogue. And you can summon this chicken and it'll squawk. And then it gives a buff to your party group. So if you have like a bunch of engineers and they're stacking that buff, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy amount of damage. I think it keeps like attack speed. When I'm mistaken. What can I do for you? Hail yeah, Rogue, I am charged to patrol this stretch of road. Although the road is safe for now, I've seen no encampments 
to the north and east of here. Lakeshire must know of the gathering knoll force. Report to Deputy Felden in Lakeshire and tell him of the knolls. Do this and I'm sure Felden will offer you a scout's wage. Felden's usually inspecting the area south of the bridge Go of Lakeshire. Honor, friend. Lakeshire. All right, so it's a rainy day, a rainy app evening, I guess you could say. In Red Ridge, it's kind of like the worst time to come here. This place actually looks pretty cool when it's not raining. I think it's one of the better looking zones as well. It's cool that people are still doing this hardcore grind even though the, the race to rag is done. I think it's going to continue for a, a while. And maybe it'll just always continue. There'll always be like a little community that does this hardcore stuff. I wonder if it'll trickle into other expansions like TBC or Wrath. Or even retail. Well there are Red Ridge Knolls that close to Elwyn. They may be poised to advance into our homeland. Soon the people of Lakeshire may not be the only humans under siege. Here is your pay. Though you bring us dire news, and it comes at a bad time, for we are ill-equipped to deal with it. We don't have men to spare, but something must be done about the Knowles you reported to me. Scout Southern Red Ridge for Knowles. Harry them. Harry them. Kill those you can and report back to me with a count of their numbers and an assessment of the threat they present. You may find those knolls camped all along the southern road of Redridge. Do this for the Stormwind Army 007, and you will be rewarded. Light bless you. All right, so we'll hold on to that quest. And now we have the flight point, which is good. We'll eventually uh, go out and slay the knolls. But not today. I'm kind of worried about... Well, we're doing somewhat all right. Clearly need to farm some more earth root. Well, yeah, we'll have a chat here with this uh, Lucius guy. Talk to me. Ah, so your fingers are a little fat, eh? Don't worry, 007. I've turned more useless leaves than you into accomplished rogues. You've been training thieves here for years. After all, not every rapscallion is born with the grace and finesse of old Lucius. Up off the road here, you'll find Alther's Mill. I got a chest up there with something important inside. Go get it for me, bring back the token, and you'll receive the, your certificate of thievery. Gotta open Lucius' lockbox, recover the token of thievery, and return it to Lucius. Up off the road here, you'll find Alther's Mill. It's got a chest up there. Watch, get her back. Where's Alther's Mill? Gotta watch out going that way. I love how he says watch your back, because like where we're going is actually pretty damn dangerous. Yeah, we'll give this a try. This could be pretty tough though. Oh, seek out SI7. So I guess this is a great quest, so we don't have to do it. So we will, uh, I think we'll go to the inn here. You gotta watch out going to this altar's mill. There's a lot of orcs and gnolls up ahead. It's not a very safe place. Well, let's make this in our home. Looking for something specific? Here we go. Well, I almost forgot. I slipped you a set of thieving tools. Then lead those where you're going. Well, he gave us a thieves tool and a delivery. Yeah, the Matthias delivery won't really do. 
Wait, we'll, we'll hold on to it though, I guess for now. Probably not, actually, because we had... It's probably not worth holding on to. If we run into bag issues, we'll probably get rid of that first. We gotta watch out behind this rock. There's a group of orcs. Usually just hiding around it. So let's uh, stealth up. There they are, running around. They usually hide right behind here. See that? And they would destroy us. It's like a little ambush they got going on there. But we'll try to find Alter's Mill. I think it's right up here. Could be a pretty dangerous place. But we do have Stealth Rank 2 now. Pretty sure it's up here. Some little dragon whelps here. And there it is, Alter's Mill. So do we have to go to the mill? Up off the road, you'll find Alter's Mill. I got a chest up there. Right, so let's get the chest. Imagine we get ambushed. <laughs> that could happen. We're clearly doing some uh, thievery right now. There's Lucius's lockbox. Clearly, we, uh, we don't have a high enough level for it. There's a bunch of practice lock boxes in here that we can practice on. It doesn't look like you can stay stealth while you're picking a lock. Let's see what the mobs are here in level 19. Failed attempt. What the heck was that? Imagine we died. <laughs> Picking a lock. <laughs> That'd be brutal. So we got to get our lock picking up today. That's kind of the goal. Let's see if we got something there. Let me get there. This is an awesome place to level your lock picking, actually. This will be good, because then we'll be able to pick uh, lock chests. Gonna have to watch out though, could have some spiders coming, coming close to us. I guess we'll have to level it up until we can open Lucius's lockbox. Let me take a little picture though. I wonder if I can sit on top of it. Hopefully I don't get ganked. You know, alright. Alright, photo. There we go. Alright, back to picking locks. There we go. I wonder what level we need to open Lucius's lockbox, probably like 10 or 20. But I never knew about this place. This is like probably one of the best places to come to if you want to level your lock picking, or just to get it started. We go level 10, so it looks like we gotta get higher than that. Crazy how we're still too low. I hope we don't like open a box and like we have to fight something that's like really tough.
I hope it's only level 20, man. I don't know locks I want to pick today. But I guess it gets you started. Because lock picking is kind of a... It's a pain to level if you don't have, like, something like this. It might be actually worth staying here, actually, a little bit longer, just to make sure we get it up. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pick a lot of locks here. You know, it's a game that I really enjoyed the lock picking was uh, Skyrim. I think Skyrim lock picking was cool. I liked how you had to like manually do it. And some locks were harder to pick than others. They did that well. Failed attempt. Okay, we can now pick uh, Lucius's lock. I'm gonna keep picking locks though. Sorry, guys, but I think it's worth it. So I have a feeling one day we will most likely run into a like a bot lock box or like a lock chest, and we'll be thankful that we did all this lock picking. I wonder how long I can level this up for. I'll level this up till it's like green. So right now this is yellow. We'll stay here till this is green. I think that's the smart thing to do. I wonder how long we'll be yellow for. Probably till 50? I would guess. Good thing is now that we're like picking these locks every try. I don't really miss. Probably ten more of these. like all the moderators for the guild are uh, starting to take breaks. Makes sense because Reg is down. The job is done. I wonder what they would need moderators for. I guess just for guild chat. You don't really want to have like a toxic guild chat. Such a rogue quest. <laughs> Just picking locks. It's like rejoining the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. Yeah, the 50's not uh, high enough. I want to go to Leaser Green, so I think it's going to be worth it. I know it may take us some time, but the thing is, we're going to hearth back. I think we yeah, we ever heard the lake shires, so we'll just hearth back. Alright, it's green. So that wasn't too bad. 55 yachts to green. We can always just come back here, you know, if we ever want to just pick some locks. We're still getting levels. Maybe we'll get to 60. Alright, so now we're not getting a level each time we pick a lock. How about this? Now what is it, every two Oh, they're starting to disappear. It's too far away. Now they're coming back.
Yeah, we'll just keep on going. Why not? You know, we're still brain. getting levels, right? I wonder what this is at. It's yellow now. Lucia's lockbox is the yellow. We should pick it easily. Maybe we should go till these are gray. Maybe that's the plan. Still getting levels. I think we'll probably turn gray by the time it hits 70. I'm interested to see how long you can level here for. We're probably close to it turning gray. This would be a funny place to gank somebody too. Like if you're like a horde rogue and some guy's just picking locks. You just never let him do it. Yeah, we're still green. Oh, that's cool. They got a horde, uh... It's too far away. They have a Horde uh, Hardcore Guild now. I might check that out. If, well, if uh, 007 dies, that is. But it would be cool to actually do a Horde Hardcore Let's Play. Yeah, we're still going up. Hasn't turned gray yet. I wonder what I would make, yeah, if I ever did do another one. I'd probably play a mage, I think. I think mage would be fun and hardcore. Thing is, though, you would probably uh, get a little risky with, like, big pulls. Especially once you get ice block, you probably feel like you're pretty hard to kill at that point. It's kind of like when you get vanish as a rogue. Yeah, we're still going here. It looks like you can get all the way up to 80 potentially. at 80. We might get our lock picking up to where our fishing is. Right now, Lucius's lockbox is green. Be cool if he said something to you if you actually, like, leveled it up to 80. Oh, man. Warrior just died in Elwyn Forest at level 9. That is rough. Drop a good old F. I wonder if it'll ever turn gray. It has to, right? Might as well open Lucius's lockbox. It's green as well, right? There we go, we got the token of thievery. Can we just keep opening his? No. That'd be kind of cool if you could just start opening his lockbox after. Okay, I think we can quit pretty soon. I'm not going to wait till it turns gray. I have a feeling it'll never turn gray. Or should we just keep going just to test it out? I don't really mind, but, like, you're clearly seeing that it's starting to, like, not get levels as fast. It takes, us like, four or five boxes.
But it's going to be worth it. The reason why I want to do this, because you never know, you might get that, you know, lucky bag. From having high lock picking, you know, that, like, good, you know, 14 slot, 12 slot bag. From one of those chests. So you're going to want to have your lock picking up. Yeah, it's still green. I think it's just green forever. There has to be a moment, though, when it goes down, like, on a level. Like, this is green. So if that was... And this was one level higher than these. Which means we gotta be close to gray. I'm guessing 90. Potentially, probably level 90. Kind of wish we saved this one for a little later. Okay, I got it. We're gonna stop soon. Stop pretty soon. 88. 88 didn't do it. We'll go to the 90. I just hope it turns gray soon, man. There's It's a good thing to test, though, you know what I mean? Like, what level can you get in log picking just from this quest? It's probably already figured out. But it's probably not efficient. There's probably, like, a way better like, place to look. I don't know. Well, how, how isn't it efficient, right? Like, but I guess leaving here at this point would probably make sense, because... The thing is, you don't have to move to pick the lock boxes. You just, you know, click and that's it. It's really easy. So there we go. We're 91 and these are still green. Should we go to 100? That's the question. <laughs> we'll keep on going. I want to go till these are gray. I'm actually interested to see how long you can stay here for. But I don't want the episode to be an hour. We're already at 30 minutes. I didn't realize that. We gotta be close. Yeah, we're not getting levels as fast now. I wonder if we'll get a level here. Nope. Yeah, we're not even getting a level when we feel like one little oct around almost ten of these. Keep going though, we'll see what happens. This this has to be the gray one. 93's gotta be the gray level. So look how long how many locks we're like picking just to get it up. Over ten at this point. Three. Still green. This is where it gets interesting. 
effect, I guess. I don't know. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Who knows? Maybe it's the next one. I don't think we're getting to 100. Look at that. How weird is that? We picked like 10 boxes to get to 93. 94, we picked two. It's kind of weird. I think he could probably be here till, till max. I'm starting to think he, like, lockpick is just like that. Look at that, 95 after only, like, five blocks. Also, our buffs, though. That's not good. I think we don't need them, though. Um, I don't think we do. This will be worth it. I'm out of range. I hope, as long as we don't die. Yeah, that's 96. Still green. That's crazy. I'm going to 100. Only got three more levels. I'll go to 100 if it's still green, then. Then it is what it is. That's if I can go to 100, too. Like, if it just turns gray at 98 or 99, then we'll stop. I wonder how many lockboxes we picked so far. Probably, well, obviously over 100. Probably getting close to like two to 300, maybe. Come on, give us that 98. Imagine they actually gave you loot. Yeah, we're, ca we're at our limit here. This is taking a while. See, so what I thought would happen is it would just turn gray. Eventually, like, how long have we been on green for? Like, over, probably over 30 levels? Like, that one was would still be green, too. Yeah, they just don't want to give us 98. I'm, we're probably getting, like, a sliver of XP every time we unlock this. What's the max we can level it up to? Lock picking. Oh, away. 100's the max. I didn't know that. Is that really the max? Or can we level that up even more? Because it's a class skill. Okay, well, we have it at, like, the max level, almost the max level. No wonder it's taken us so long. So you can just sit here and level it to max if you want. I didn't know that. I thought it was more like a profession. Sort of like alchemy and herbalism and or like a secondary skill. Like cooking and first aid. Fishing. But it's not, it's just a class skill, so just you level up to 100 and that's it. Alright, so we'll eventually get it to 100. We're at 98, should we keep going? Nah. It's been 40 minutes. 
My priest just died. That's a good sign to get out of here. Yeah, we got it to 98, guys. We're not going to 100. That's going to be like another 50 lockboxes. And I think those will turn gray when it when we hit 100. And I think 100 is the max. I'm pretty sure. How can that happen? You are a priest. It's too bad. Rip. I guess priests are hard to kill. Here they are. I forgot to mention the orcs. I hear they have been nosing around up by the mill. Cracked it open, did you? Nice work, 007. If you die now, we can rest easy knowing it was due to your own stupidity and not inexperience. Off with you. All right, so there we go, guys. We got the Certificate of Thievery. Let's read it. The bearer of this certificate is entitled to the respect and regard of that any first-rate pilferer and thief deserves. <laughs> well, there we go. We are now a thief. We almost got to 100. We got to 98. I think that's enough. And then throughout our journeys, I think we'll eventually get it to 100. And I think we won't run into any trouble uh, picking locks while we're journeying through Azeroth. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.